So in this video, let's discuss the Hans Dicker reaction. Which is also known as Borodin Hans Dicker reaction. This is a reaction of silver salt of carboxylic acid with bromine to form bromoalkane plus CO2 plus AgBr silver bromide. For example, CH3COAG this is silver acetate when reacts with bromine it gives methyl bromide plus CO2 plus AgBr. So this reaction is a method for preparing haloalkanes from the silver salt of acid. Now a few points to note. Point number one, this reaction is a way of decreasing the length of the carbon chain by one unit. If you see the product, this methyl bromide has a carbon less than the parent silver salt of the acid. So this is a way of decreasing the length of the carbon chain. by one unit. Point number two, this R may be enalkyl and it may be branched even aryl also. For example, let us take This is silver benzoate reacts with bromine and we get bromobenzene plus CO2 and AgBr. And using this reaction, primary, secondary, tertiary alkyl halides can be produced. And the order of the alkyl halides, the yield, 1 degree or primary is greater than secondary and secondary is greater than tertiary. So this is the order of the yield of alkyl halides. Point number 3. This silver salt must be very pure and dry and it is not that easy to prepare such salts. So a convenient way is the use of a mixture of acid and AgO which is mercury oxide or mercuric oxide instead of the salt and these two react similarly. Point number four, the ratio. This ratio is very very important because this ratio determines the products. Here the ratio is one is to one. So, ratio is very important as the ratio determines the products. If the ratio is 2 is to 1, then instead of haloalkane, we get esters. And that reaction is called Simonini reaction. Simonini reaction. In Simonini reaction, for example, two molecules of silver acetate reacts with iodine. Iodine is used in Simonini reaction. And we get CH3 C double O CH3, which is methyl acetate. Now, point number five. In this reaction, in Hans Dicker reaction, although bromine is most often used,
but chlorine has also been used but the yield of chloroalkane is very poor so the yield of this chloroalkane is very poor and generally preparation of iodoalkanes is not carried out using hans dicker reaction so now let's see the mechanism of this reaction hans dicker reaction involves free radical mechanism in the first step the silver salt of the acid reacts with bromine to form an intermediate this is the intermediate which is known as acyl hypobromite the second step is the homolytic cleavage and cleavage occurs here the oxy between this oxygen and bromine bond because this bond is very weak so homolytic cleavage occurs and di radical pair is formed the third step is the decarboxylation and we know that decarboxylation is the removal of co2 so as co2 is removed we get the alkyl free radical in the last step this alkyl free radical abstracts a bromide from a further acyl hypobromite to form bromoalkane plus the radical and simonini reaction follows the same mechanism but in that case the haloalkane formed reacts with the excess silver salt of the acid and finally we get esters so that's all for today i'll see you in the next video till then take care